This short video is to show you how you can record narration while you are creating a software simulation using Adobe Captivate. Just a quick tip here, be mindful to speak in between clicks. If you talk while you are clicking, then Captivate will break that audio file up in the middle of a word and it will make it a lot harder to edit and adjust your sound files within each slide. So once again, it's a good idea to explain what's happening, go through the movements, click, then start talking again. I will demonstrate this as part of this video and we'll also have a look at the end result that Captivate gives us. So we click on software simulation and we choose the window that we want to record. I'm going to demonstrate creating a new board in Trello, just as the example here. Custom size, that's fine, I'll leave it as is. And I'm going to choose training and the settings can be adjusted depending on what you're after. Now the settings that I will choose for this particular training mode selecting training simulation from the drop down menu. I want to add text captions. I want to use smart shapes instead of captions. Gives it gives me more formatting flexibility. I want to add highlight boxes on the click. I can add and remove the mouse quite easily in post production. I will add click boxes on the mouse click that adds the interactivity and I can remove click boxes on slides as and when I need to and I can include text entry boxes as well. These things can be added and removed quite easily in post-production. Clicking on OK. Last but not least, we do need to select the microphone. I'm going to ensure that I've got the right microphone selected. I'm not going to include system audio at this stage and I'm just going to click on record. Hi, welcome to the training demo on how to create a brand new board in Trello. The first thing we do is we click on create new board. The next thing we do is we put in a board title. Then we click on create board. This will display the brand new board in the screen. We can add a list which is a collection of cards. I will enter the list name now. And then press enter. I can add a card by clicking on add a card in that list. I will now click on add a card. I will then enter a title for this card. Pressing enter after typing in the name of the card. I can then add details about the card by clicking on the card title and that will open up the card in a new screen. I can then add members to the card by clicking on members, etc, etc. So I hope this helps. We're now going to end the Captivate recording and we'll see the file that Captivate has given us. So I'm just going to zoom out so I can see the screens. And if we look carefully at each slide, we will see that each slide now has a separate audio narration layer on each slide. If we look at the library, the library will have separate audio narrations relevant to each slide as well. To edit the narration, all we do is we right mouse click on the layer and we select edit. And if we press play, 
This particular example is just me typing. So potentially I could actually remove that audio layer by selecting it and pressing delete on the keyboard and then I remove the audio layer. The thing to notice in the library is that audio now has a use count of zero and I could probably say quite safely remove that from the library as well so it doesn't take up valuable space. So I can right mouse click and then press delete on the keyboard and click yes. Going to another slide, let's see uh, this one for example, if I press play. The next thing we do is we put in a board title. Now uh, my dog was barking just at the beginning of that so I can right mouse click edit on that audio file and so what I can do here is I can actually just um, select that part of the audio by clicking and dragging and then I've got a bin in this toolbar within the slide audio file. I can delete that and I can click on save and then close and then this audio can be dragged to adjust the timing of when I want that audio to actually talk. So I hope this helps and uh, thanks very much for watching and any questions please get in touch.